In a seed production program, characterization and identification of cultivars is a crucial factor to fulfill various needs like verifying the identity of a variety, establishing a distinctness of a new variety, determining the varietal purity and hybrids, varietal description and documentation, varietal registration and certification to assure farmers are getting the correct variety. Hence, it is clearly important from many points of view that varieties are to be distinguished and identified properly. Cultivars can be identified using some morphological characters like plant height, position of cob, number of days for tasseling, length of the leaf, cob growth, cob length, number of seeds per row, number of seeds per cob, number of tassel branches, length of tassel, seed size, shape, color, texture and structure. Let us see some morphological characters for maize culture identification. First one is tassel attitude of lateral birds and tassel anthocyanin color, leaf angle between blade and stem and ear shape, kernel shape and row arrangement. Morphological characters has its own demerits. Morphological characters can vary according to environmental changes which leads to false justification and also it will take a longer time. Hence comes the importance of alternate method which is rapid, reliable and reproducible which is known as DNA fingerprinting. In DNA fingerprinting, marker plays a major role in revealing polymorphism. Though there are many markers available for this purpose, SSR marker is the most reliable because it shows high polymorphism uh, which is evenly distributed throughout the genome. This is a co-dominant marker and results are reproducible. Steps involved are samples collection, DNA extraction, DNA quantification, DNA amplification with SSR marker, urea page and this is software analysis. Samples collection. Young leaf samples are collected for DNA extraction. Keep it in an ice box. Next is DNA extraction. Reagents used for uh, DNA extraction is CTAP, PVP, mercaptoethanol, chloroform and isomal algogol, phenol and chloroform, isopropanol, sodium acetate, 70% ethanol, Take 0.5 gram of leaf sample, add 500 microliter of CTAP buffer and few drops of 1% PVP and 50 microliters of 2 mercaptoethanol. Grind it thoroughly until the leaf tissues are ruptured. Using modified CTAP method, DNA is extracted from the sample. Dry the pellet and add 100 microliters of 1x TE buffer. Dissolve gently and place in freezer. For checking the quantity and quality of DNA what we have extracted, a gross gel electrophoresis is done. About 0.8% agrose gel was prepared and DNA samples were loaded along with dye and gel was run. The image can be viewed under alpha imager. The quantity of DNA can be estimated by comparing the fluorescent deal of the samples. Next one is DNA amplification with polymeric chain reaction. These are the materials required for PCR. This is PCR cocktail for 1x. The total reaction volume is 15 microliters. PCR tubes placed inside the PCR machine. This is the PCR condition for maize. PCR conditions were now set up. PCR machine is run. 
After a stimulated period, the amplified DNA products will be resolved by urea page. Plates preparation for page gel casting. These are the chemicals used for plate preparation. Clean the both IPC chamber and outer glass plate with distilled water and remove by wiping with tissue paper. Clean the plates with 70% ethanol. Coat IPC chamber with Rhine repellent. Coat outer glass plate with Bainsalane. Wipe the side glamps, bottom assembly gasket, spacer, comb with 70% alcohol. Place the spacer on IPC chamber and keep the outer glass plate over it. Assemble the unit with side clamp, bottom assembly gasket and lock the unit. Insert the comb between the plates. For gel matrix preparation, 10 ml gel matrix is prepared which contains 40% acrylamide, 10 ml TE buffer, 10% APS and timer. Inject this solution, make it spread uniformly and immediately insert the combs. Allow it to polymerization for 1 hour. After polymerization, keep the assembly in base chamber. Remove the combs and pour the TBE buffer between the plates and IPC chamber. For 20 microliter of PCR product, 5 microliter page dye was added. Samples are loaded in the well. Now gel is run at 100 volt for 1 and a half hours. After 1 and a half hours, gel plates are subjected to silver staining. After silver staining, the gel plate is air dried and documented. Based on the presence or absence of the alleles, the scores will be given as 0 or 1. The binary data scored was used to construct a dendrogram. The genetic association between the accessions were evaluated by calculating the Jacquard's similarity coefficient for pairwise comparisons based on the proportion of shared bands produced by the primers. Similarity matrix was generated using the SimQual program of NTC software version 2.02. The similarity coefficients were used for cluster analysis and dendrogram was constructed by the unweighed pair group method. This dendrogram shows the genetic relationship of different maize varieties. Varieties which are coming under the same cluster are closely related.